Boston Dynamics and parent company Hyundai say that their new Atlas humanoid robot is ready to roll out in production auto factories. Or at least that it will be in two years time. What they showed off was a prototype version of the robot being remote controlled from behind the scenes. He waved his hands and flipped around a little bit. Then they showed off the production version. This is the model they say that they're ready to produce in quantity, eventually 30,000 a year and roll out into factory conditions. Except that one just stood on stage doing absolutely nothing. Not very convincing yet. Once it's up and running, the production Atlas will have 56 degrees of freedom, that's a few more than the prototype version they showed off last year, and it's going to be capable of lifting 110 pounds, reaching 7.5 feet in the air, operating in conditions ranging from minus 4 to 104 F. That all sounds good, we just haven't seen it in motion ourselves to trust that it's true. Then there's the timeline. Although Hyundai is making this announcement today, they actually say that Atlas is going to start appearing in factories from 2028 and that it won't be handling any complex auto assembly tasks until 2030. So over that time period, it's just working in Hyundai's own car factories. They say the plan eventually is to roll out to other manufacturers and partners, and then even maybe homes. They say it can prove itself in the factory before they look at the home market. But again, all of this is way, 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 way down the line, no matter what Hyundai might want you to believe today. To help make all this a reality, Hyundai also announced a partnership with Google DeepMind. The idea is to pair Google's AI knowledge, the stuff that's underpinning its Gemini model, with all of Boston Dynamics' physical stuff. They say that that means that Atlas will eventually be much better at learning new tasks. They say the idea is it should be able to pick up any new skill within a day, so you won't just be plugging in pre-programmed tasks into Atlas and asking it to carry those out. You'll be able to react to the world around it, interact with humans, and learn new jobs on the fly, reacting to problems in the world. Of course, there's one big question underpinning all of this. What about those humans that it's going to be working with? What happens to them? Hyundai is very keen to sell the message that Atlas and other Boston Dynamics robots co-work with humans, that it's one big happy family. In fact, they say that humans are going to be more essential than ever once Atlas is rolling out, taking on jobs like oversight and problem solving and decision making. But how many humans are going to be needed to oversee this army of Atlas robots rolling out across Hyundai's factories? That's one of the many things that Hyundai and Boston Dynamics still don't have a good answer for. The beginning of your tomorrow.